The genius of Dr. Young's visionary approach to helping sick people get well has been accomplished by combining the academic wisdom of predominant scientists with his specialized research using the most advanced techniques available to create a simple yet effective approach for the restoration and maintenance of health. With that introduction, we'd like to ask Dr. Young a few questions regarding his health discoveries. Dr. Young, can you explain to our listeners the major difference between your approach to health and those healers that have come before you? Uh, the approach of the new biology is a contextual approach. It's an environmental approach. Uh, rather than dealing with any specific disease, it really addresses the environment with this idea that the, the human cell is only as healthy as the environment which it finds itself. This is true very simply in a metaphor that I call the fishbowl metaphor. The fishbowl metaphor is really at, begs a question and, or asks a question. And the question is this, if the fish is sick, what would you do? Would you treat the fish or would you change the water? Now as you think about that question, the obvious answer is, is well, Dr. Young, uh, of course, uh, you'd change the water, you wouldn't treat the fish, and yet what would your doctor do? The environmental or contextual approach to the fish or to the human body is that the human body, which is made up of over 70 trillion cells, is only as healthy as in the, is the environment which it's found in. When we're born, we're 90% water. And upon death, we're probably close to 50% water. The quality of those waters really determines the longevity and the health of the human cell. And so it, rather than focus on a specific disease, but focus on the environment that's giving rise to the specific symptomology, with the idea that there's only one sickness or one disease, and that's the over-acidification of the blood and tissues due to inverted ways of living and eating or thinking. And so rather than treating the fish, you simply change the water. Rather than treating the disease or the disease, you start alkalizing the internal environment of the body, thus changing that environment, detoxifying that environment, and providing an environment that's conducive for health, energy, and vitality. With over 100 years of research and billions of dollars spent and lists of hundreds of prescription drugs, why can't modern medicine find the cure for most degenerative diseases? The reason why modern medicine cannot find a cure for degenerative diseases is because they're focused on the matter rather than the environment around the matter. It's not that the matter is sick, it's that the matter is living in a polluted environment. Now, if you take water, for example, and put it in, a, in, a, in, the, in an ice tray and put it in the freezer, what happens? The water has to change. It goes from a liquid state to a solid state. Why? Because the environment has changed. The temperature has changed. And within that temperature change, the molecules of the water have to adapt to that new environment. This is what happens to the human cell. As we take, for example, uh, cancer. Cancer is not a disease of the tissue. It's a change of the environment in a negative way. The environment becomes acidic, and when that environment becomes acidic, the cell then changes. So cancer is not a disease, but a state of the cell that is now changing to adapt to an acidic environment. What I wanted to say is that there are no specific diseases, but there are specific conditions or environments that give, that give rise to specific diseases. When we're talking about, let's say, specific diseases, these are very much a part of, or a result of, better said, of the internal environment. And so the internal environment is key to understanding, and its pollution, or its environment, is key to understanding the nature of the disease and what is happening, actually happening to the environment. And one of the best ways to understand this is many of us have, have over the last uh, few months, have, have heard about global warming and acid rain and the devastation of acid rain or the pollution uh, of carbonic acids and various uh, sulfuric and phosphoric acids that are raining down on our forests or on our planet causing destruction. Well, the same thing is happening within us. It's called body warming, the acid rain from within. Where are these acids coming from? They're coming from metabolism. Our body's in constant need of energy, and in the utilization of that energy, we produce waste products or acids which spoil our bodies if they're not properly eliminated through urination, perspiration, or defecation. So the four elimination uh, channels, if they're blocked or if they're not properly eliminating our own uh, metabolic waste products, or even acids from our diet, 
then they build up and then the environment begins to change and we go into body warming or acid rain and as acid rains upon different parts of our bodies this is when disease symptomologies are expressed so what would you recommend a person's diet consists of a person's diet should consist of alkalizing or electron rich foods that will literally maintain that alkaline design of the human body. See, that is really, after 30 years of research, my major discovery. The major discovery is that the human organism is alkaline by design but acidic by function. All functions of the human organism produce acids that, if not properly eliminated, will cause disease. And so when we maintain our alkalinity through our lifestyle, that incorporates even our thought processes because our thoughts require energy and thus produce acids that can make us sick, tired, and fat. But also, you know, our diet. We need to focus more on alkalizing foods, like cucumber, one of the most alkalizing fruits on the planet, or broccoli, one of the most alkalizing vegetables on the planet. As we focus more on green foods and green drinks, healthy fats, I call this the COWS diet. COWS is an acronym that stands for, the C stands for chlorophyll, so high chlorophyll rich foods. O stands for oil. Oils, uh, particularly the polyunsaturated oils, that will help build the lipid membranes that make our body cells strong. W stands for water, the right kind of water. That's alkaline water, not acidic water, because not all water is good to drink. It must have an alkaline, uh, alkalizing effect. It has a pH I recommend is about 9.5. And then the S stands for salt, which uh, many of us have taken out of our diet. Most critical. There is a very important reason that, that our blood, our body fluids, are salted. Not with potassium, not with magnesium, but with sodium. And so sodium becomes a very, very important part in order to maintain this alkaline design because sodium is one of the major constituents or, or uh, elements that helps in building one of the number one buffers that the body's constantly making, especially in the, in the lining of the stomach, sodium bicarbonate to what? Not digest food but to alkalize the food. So everything that we do, everything that we eat, has an impact on our internal environment. By maintaining that alkaline design, that's how we increase the quality and the quantity of our life. That's how we improve our health, energy, and vitality. Thank you. How does a person sub subscribe to your email newsletter so they can benefit from your continuing research and take advantage of the health discoveries uh, to date that you've come up with? You know, we call uh, this pH miracle a natural phenomenon between the cause and effect relationship. Uh, rather than focusing on effects, we want to teach people and do it in a way which everyone can have access, and there's no better way than through the Internet, to be able to have free access to information which all of us uh, need, and it's important to you because we don't need more medicine. We need more education. Uh, we've got all the medicine we need here in America, and yet we're one of, the, one of the sickest nations in the world. And yet if we empower our children, if we empower each individual person on the planet with education about how to alkalize and maintain the internal environments, how to maintain cleanliness from within, to maintain the integrity of the human cell, you know, this is what's going to bring better quality and quantity to life. And so through our internet uh, program, through uh, the blog, uh, we have uh, a daily newsletter that I send out. Uh, and uh, you can read these newsletters uh, at uh, the uh, articlesofhealth.blogspot.com or you can sign up for our newsletter, uh, which is free, uh, at phmiracleliving.com. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Young. We appreciate it. Well, thank you very much uh, for this opportunity to share this information. It is so critically impo important that more and more people hear about the new biology, this new way of living, this new way of eating, this new way of thinking. Uh, because when we understand this, we can improve the quality of, of not only our lives, but the, the lives of those who we love and care for. Thank you.